the NFL calendar rolling along this week, the NFL owners meetings in Palm Beach, and we're about to be joined by Colts head coach Frank Reich. It's a new era there in Andy with quarterback Matt Ryan. Reich telling reporters last week the Colts and Ryan, well, they needed one another. Matt Ryan leaving Atlanta after spending his first 13 years in the NFL there. Taking a look at his stats all time, ninth in passing yards, ninth in passing touchdowns. Here's more from his new head coach with our Jason Lockenfora. Coach, I'm guessing it's been a bit of a whirl when you, you, you go through a process of evaluating your roster, including the quarterback position, and then trying to figure out what else is out there and ultimately it leads you eventually to, to Matt Ryan. But can you kind of take us behind the scenes a little bit and sort of how you got from point A to point B? Yeah, it was it was an exciting time. I mean, when we made the trade with Carson, um, we, we knew what the landscape was and Matt Ryan was not in the picture right. at that point. So the fact that he, as soon as he fell on – into the landscape then all the focus was on that was there ever a point in time where you kind of did feel like maybe we might be stuck in purgatory here or there might not be you know what i mean the right guy at the right value might not be out there you know what chris and i and mr Ursay, you know we we knew when we made the trade with carson what the landscape was we were comfortable that we were going to figure it out and make it work um you know we had built a good roster a good team a lot of things going in the right direction and just felt confident that we'd find a way to make it work. Well, to your point, Coach, there was certainly a period of time where people were inquiring about Matt Ryan and being told, hey, he's our guy in Atlanta. Do you remember sort of when you got word that maybe things had changed in the aftermath of the Deshaun Watson? Like, did you get a call from Chris, or was he like, hey, we, we got a chance to get this guy? Yeah, that's what it was. It was more Chris walking over, in, you know, into my office saying, hey, uh, I don't know how this thing with Deshaun is going to play out, um, but it, it could work out that we got a chance for Matt. And so it was immediately, as soon as I knew that was a possibility, it was like dive into the film, you know, into all Matt's film, just, you know, kn you know, knowing you're getting a guy who's a 14-year vet, making sure that he's still playing. But you look at the tape and it's like, this guy's still awesome. Elite accuracy, the arm strength, move, everything. He's still playing at a very high level. There's obviously restrictions this time of year and what you can and can't <clears throat> do with players, and that's about to lessen as we get towards the, the off-season program and OTAs, but um, were you able to at least, I guess, at least have some conversations with him when he comes in for the press conference and all that? Yeah, just some casual conversations at this point. And, you know, uh, the off-season program's right around the corner. So, yeah. right, it's all voluntary, but, you know, I get every indication that he's going to be there and, and, yeah. <laughs> and we'll, we'll get a lot of work done. So uh, really looking forward to that. The initial conversation with him, you know, when we were kind of in that meeting, for, we had this Zoom meeting with him for two hours, talking X's and O's, showing him tape. That was an exciting time. You could feel his presence, his football IQ, yeah. the whole deal. How, how much do you think, I, I guess, will alter for you guys schematically or conceptually, given, you know, he's not going to maybe do some things out of the pocket that, that Carson, you know, would do for you guys or, or some, some other quarterbacks you've had in the past? Yeah, it'll be a blend. Uh, you know, we had Phillip Rivers a couple of years ago yeah. who kind of pure drop back. Carson, a little bit more out of the pocket. You know, Matt still moves pretty well. So, you know, we'll, we'll adapt to what this – group of players does well obviously focusing on Matt as our quarterback so he's been very successful over his career doing a lot of different things obviously been very successful in play action which meshes up well with our yeah. run game and Matt obviously would have had a lot of options as well the fact that you guys have built the roster the way you have really good offensive line great running game pieces like Pittman who I think are ascending players how much did that kind of help you guys close the deal I think it was a big deal and and not just on offense the, yes but our defense, yes. you know, we got a good, we put together a good defense and really good special teams unit. So I think it was the entirety of the roster, you know, that was really attractive to Matt. Certainly that and the offensive line and the runner, um, you know, JT, yes. that, that all makes a big difference. Finally, coach, knowing that you have an established quarterback, I don't know how you run this gauntlet of the AFC without, I mean, the balance of power, it's just a reality. You look at all these transactions. The AFC is loading up the NFC. There are more teams who are in that quarterback purgatory. Yeah, I mean, you just got you got to grind it out. Um, it starts right. Every team knows it starts with you know competing in your division and then your conference. So, hey, we all play this. You know, we all play each other. So, um, you know, I think our team has proven over the last couple of years that we can go toe to toe with these big guns. You know, we did it a couple of years ago against Kansas City at Kansas City on a primetime game this last year against a great Buffalo team. Yes. Um, you know, against a, a really good New England team. So, uh, you know, we, we've proven that, but it'll just be more of the same, and it'll be a great challenge. All the best with the coach. Thank Th you. Thank you. 
just got to grind it out. Well, that is what the Colts and Frank Reich and now Matt Ryan intend to do there in the AFC South, taking a look at the odds to win the division. Colts right now tied with the Titans at plus 115. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.